I'll try not to scream or curse. Yeah, I won't judge you. <laughs> so welcome. Did you get a chance to watch the uh, reveal? No. Oh, all right. So you know anything about this truck? First time you've seen it? All right. Well, so, other than the ones in the yeah. Truck, yeah. All right. So I'll talk a little bit while we head out to the course. So okay. this is the all new Chevy ZR2. We've taken a Colorado. We've lifted it two inches, oh, wow. increased the track width three and a half inches. We've added front and rear electronic locking differentials. And we've done some uh, tuning with ABS traction control, stability control, as well as shift patterns and throttle maps. We have an off-road mode, all to make a, a pretty good off-road vehicle. <laughs> and we like to say that it's a no compromise on-road vehicle. So the big thing about this truck is the new dampers we put in this truck are Multimatic DSSV spool valve dampers. First ever application off-road. They typically do F1 cars. They're in the Camaro Z28. They're in the new Ford GT. Oh, okay. So this is their first use off-road. What they offer for tuning capability is just awesome. So we can have, uh, you know, typically off-road trucks are floaty off on-road and kind of feel like a boat. So right. we, we have the tuning capability to have you have a normal truck or car like ride on road and still have the capacity to go over stuff that we're going to go over here <laughs> and be comfortable. Do I need a helmet? You do not need a helmet. Okay. So in the... Uh, Should I put my window up? If you want. <laughs> it was just a little chilly out. So It was. It was weird. It was weird. I did not expect LA to be this cold. It's not normally. Yeah. It was just hot Monday. <laughs> yes. It's like 88 degrees Monday. Yeah. So... Some of the things we wanted to show you guys with this truck was um, high speed desert running capabilities are a big thing. Okay. As well as low speed rock crawling. So what we have set up around the outside are kind of our high speed simulation. We're, we're in a parking lot so we we're really not going that fast. <laughs> so we had to amplify all the events that you typically see in a desert. So that's why the, the bumps and moguls you see that are in front of you are as tall as they are. It's to give you the same feeling that you'd get at speed. And that's why he's wetting? Uh, he's just watering down the dirt to keep it the dust from coming up. Oh. Monday we drove around and it was pretty dusty. <laughs> so, you ready? Yes. All right. <laughs> so these are seven inches tall. They're about double what a normal speed bump is. This last one here is a 16 inch bump. This is your on-road experience of the truck, right there. <laughs> we have a railroad crossing. It's not a jump, I promise. <laughs> so that kind of demonstrates what the vehicle can handle at a faster speed. Now we're going to showcase what it can do from a rock crawling standpoint. So we have this big hill in front of us. We're shifting to four low. We have two kind of areas here. We have pockets that are right here at the bottom of the hill. We're going to go into those, and they're actually rollers. So the, t the front tire and the rear tire are going to lose traction. Whoa. So as you go in, right here, right now, the front tire and the rear tire are spinning. If you don't have locking differentials, you would be stuck here. Oh. So lock the rear axle, and you roll into the throttle. And once the rear axle locks, it pushes you right up. So now we're going up to a 30 degree incline. <laughs> and now we're going to have three tires on rollers. What? So both back tires are on rollers, front left tires on a roller. We're going to lock the front axle. So now all four wheels are locked together. That's why we do the chime. We turn off ABS. So right now we're going to do a one arm pull up out of this hole right here and go up the rest of the hill with only the front right tires, the only one pulling you out. The front right tire? Yep. Okay. Ready? So it does a little rotation to engage the locker, and then it claws its way right up. What? So that's a 30 degree incline. It's uh, about 58, 59% grade. You get a nice view around here. <laughs> Traffic's actually moving now. It's fun to watch in the morning. Everybody's stuck there. Oh my god. Yeah, fun to watch, not fun to be in. Exactly. So now, as all the Colorados offer, are have we have four wheels standard four wheel disc brakes easy modulation we're going down a 30 degree incline <laughs> with articulation no problems easy down that's crazy 
So the other nice thing is a mid-sized truck, you have great maneuverability. So when you're doing tight trails like Rubicon Trail, which two of these trucks that are here have been down, hmm. um, you have to go through trees, you gotta do a, a bunch of tight maneuvers. Something that would be really tough to do in a full-size truck. Then our last little demo around the corner here. Uh, it's just an articulation demo to kind of show show off what the suspension can do what? articulation wise. And this one's a fun one to watch outside the vehicle if you get a chance. So it's a little exciting inside, but outside's <laughs> where you really get the perspective of what's going on. Whoa! So right now. Oh. The back tire is about three feet off the ground if you look in the mirror there. So, like I said, if you get a chance to watch it from the outside, it's really cool. Man, that's crazy. So that's our little carnival ride we put on to showcase the Nutra ZR2. Nice. That was insane. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best part. That was like a roller coaster. We try. <laughs> I still don't understand in what scenario in life you'd have to go up on a 30 degree angle, but if I were hey. ever put in that position. Crazy people like to have fun and just drive <laughs> through the middle of the woods.